Hello, my name is Nathan LaValle and I'm going to be breaking down a lighting scene from a recent shoot that I did. I own a media business located in Central Florida called Bright Valley Media and I am available for hire. I'll leave my contact information in the description. With this lighting setup, I had a vision for a project for running a Facebook ad and so I wanted to utilize a teleprompter to shoot a great talking head and I wanted to do it in the actual room that tied to the topic. Now this client um, it's an organization that is an abortion alternative uh, organization. They provide free services to mothers who are in crisis and contemplating abortion. And as you can see here, I'm just dropping in the bases of my C-stands. I find this to be a great first actionable step to setting up your lighting. Basically, I'm identifying where I want my primary lights to go. Now, this accordion that you see me just now move is something that I brought into this room. It's not typically in the room. Um, but the background needed to be broken up. I wanted to provide some gradient and so I brought this in. I saw it in another room and thought I'm gonna bounce a light through this and it's gonna make a very pleasant background. By the way, if you want you can just fast forward to the end. It's gonna show the result of this lighting setup. If you'd like you're welcome to do that. Here I'm bringing in my sandbags. Because it's such a small room I am shooting with a wide angle camera here so it, it's kinda hard to tell but because it's such a small room um, it's really important to weigh these down so that you don't have any issues. So here I've brought in my tops to the C stands and I'm getting them prepared to drop some lights onto. Now here I'm going for a simple key light hair light setup and I'm hoping that that white door in the background is going to form a great bounce so that my shadows aren't too intense. Here I'm extending my boom pole. I'm actually planning with this shoot to utilize an XLR mic, the NT3, uh, NTG3 from Rode. So I dropped in a 320 watt LED for the key light. I got that turned on, got the bone mount protector off, and I'm bringing in my softbox. This is a massive octagon softbox, double diffusion. So I got that inside diffusion, I got that top diffusion in there, and I'm gonna drop that directly onto the light. Now I decided to go with the octagon for this because I knew that I was gonna be lighting that background. Uh, with an actual light and here I'm doing that so I'm putting a stand uh, a, a clip onto my stand and I'm mounting an LED panel to that now I had to fiddle with this a little bit because with how I initially set it up there was a major hot spot in the middle it did not look like the back was lit with a nice gradient it just looked like there was a light blasting through the middle so I decided to put it lower and shoot it up uh, and this looked a little bit better there I messed with the color temperature just thinking what do I want the temperature of that to look like in my camera here I'm bringing in the hair light. It's a 60 watt cob. I'm going to run it pretty much at full brightness with just the reflector on shined right at where the talent is going to be. I'm visiting with the client. We're about ready to bring someone in to actually see what the set looks like. But before I do that, I always like to sit myself down where the person is going to be to make sure that the lights are not so painfully bright that it's difficult to read the teleprompter. I haven't brought the teleprompter in, but I just, every time, I like to stand or sit where the talent's going to be. I make some final adjustments, and then we continue on with the setup. Here I'm bringing in the talent so I can make sure the shot looks yeah. okay. About right Where's my mark? Here, you didn't put a piece of tape. I'm just kidding. That's a good point. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding with you. Now with this, we're going to have to do some work because this is someone that works at the organization. It's not an actor. It's not an actress, rather. Um, but it's someone who works in the organization, which is perfect for the type of video we're doing. But it means I'm going to have to give them some training on how to now, utilize teleprompter. What do you think, uh, Cheryl? Mm. Should we so take like down... It's looking up at me instead of like at me. Yeah, I think we should take it down. You think so? It, it kind of like... The, the blanket. This is the executive director. I asked her if she wanted to take this blanket down. I showed her what it looked like in the frame. I like to give some small elements of creative control to my clients with things that they really can't go wrong with. Um, and she decided to take it down and I was happy with it taken down or left up. And that way um, I'm involving them in the process. They feel like they have some control over what's going on, which is great. Here I'm positioning the microphone to make sure it's the right height.
Okay, we turned off the overhead lights, and so now we're actually seeing what the lighting looks like. I'm dropping my iPad into the teleprompter. I utilize Obsidian, which has a built-in teleprompter plug-in. Yeah, well, you're more used to this. You're going to do great. Oh, do my gosh, I have to read that little pieces of... I can make it bigger. Okay, and, and I... So and the questions of Delta Mater don't keep yes, scrolling. Jesus is calling me for a mission in your yes. city. Before we do that... I'm, I'm just gonna, kind of mumbling the... Here, I'm going to coach her on the teleprompter. Let me get your I mark. squinting to see them a little. I'll make it bigger. Okay. Why don't you back up all the way towards the table there? Sorry. Oh, you're fine? I'm in about right here. Oh. Why don't you stand... Kind of oh, that's where right you're there. Yep. Okay, I thought you were trying to tell me to get out of your way. <laughs> yeah, because this light's making me sweat. I'm showing you some of these interactions with the client because this is an important part of okay. being a videographer. Yeah, my hands like this. You'll kind of talk with okay. your hands a little bit. So. That's okay. And we'll do a few takes to get you feeling comfortable with it. Okay. Um, and I'll run, start running the teleprompter here in just a moment so that you can practice with it a few times. And then I can get the audio level set while you do that. So when you're practicing, mm -hmm. do it like you were really trying to do it. Like I'm having a conversation. Kind yeah. Of like yeah. And I would, you know, speak with passion, obviously. Um, clarity. Like I think the things that are going to make this land as an ad will be like poise, clarity, confidence. Okay. Kind of those sorts of things. Okay. So you're not overreaching like, hey, no. but it's like, <laughs> right, right. hey, you know, that okay. sort of a thing. I always like so, to give a few awesome words. Ideas to describe the attitude and energy I'm going for. The words are coming. Okay. I can speak am I assuming I know what the word's going to be? <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Like almost like I already know what it's going to say even though I don't. Um I don't understand the question. Ask it another <laughs> way. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> stay, stay I'm just right reading too fast. <laughs> uh, you're doing good. Okay. It, for people? No. Oh. Ah, fooey, right? Let's see if that's the right spot. It gets you kind of centered. Right These now. client interactions are critical for running a video business. If you can't do this, things are not going to go well with your video business. And we need your help. We have created a free resource to teach you how to be an advocate for life in your community. This free resource teaches you what you need to know to effectively walk alongside a pregnant woman. Hello, Miss Mary. Okay, this is interesting. The nurse came in and we were in her space. So I want you to hear this interaction with me and her. <laughs> yeah. This part of we and this cameraman. Hello. <laughs> yes, we're doing a whole video shoot right now. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. You ready to get in the video? No. <laughs> <laughs> then you might want to hide. I'm just kidding. I'm, we're not going to film you. Don't worry. Don't okay, worry. You don't have to change it on here, but if you don't mind me doing it, just... If it rolls that way on that word. Yeah, do okay. it. No, you're on like just Mary. Well, well, there's stuff I want her to trip. I, I can move some stuff here. Is this your office, Mary? Yeah. Let me move some things to make it easier for you. I appreciate your patience with us here. <laughs> it's taken me about an hour to set this up, so it's a, it's a process. <laughs> I want to make sure that every person at the organization I'm working with thinks that I am worth it. That's going to be huge for client retention. If the executive director thinks I'm worth it and everyone else doesn't, that is not going to be good for me retaining this work. And I want to retain this work. I believe in this mission, and I love doing these kinds of shoots. So I want to make sure that I'm putting my best foot forward with every person I interact with. In your city, will you say yes? Really good. I always clap and praise when I feel like I've gotten everything I need to put something together really great. And we're going to take a look here in just a moment at the finished product. You made it this far. It turned out great. Take a look. You may think that abortion is rare or only used as a last resort, but this unfortunately is not the case. We also made some motion graphics, just very basic, to accompany the script. We had some statistics pop in, and so I just, in DaVinci with Fusion, created some motion graphics, very quick and dirty. Probably took about an hour to put these together with the duplicator node and um, also using titles on top of that. We also shot some B-roll We are fighting to help women to show the organization working so they can see the context a little bit more. But I think this shot turned out great. The shoot 
worked. We're going to run this ad. It should be very effective for them. They're hoping to generate some leads of people that would be willing to help. And this is the lighting diagram. So you can see I had my huge octagon diffuser, my backlights bouncing through. Feel free to take a screenshot if you want to try to emulate this yourself. And uh, I'll show you behind the scenes video as well. This is what it looks like uh, where I was standing as the camera operator. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped.